forward towards Philogene. Lovely turn away from Rogan. Jaden Philogene looking sharp, looking bright, gets the deflection and very nearly the opening goal of the match, four minutes into his under-21 debut. Well, what an early contribution from Philogene. The, the touch control, he turns inside and then when he checks, expecting him to pass it, just drops his shoulder back onto his right side. Palmer, Francis Chelsea club teammate Madueki and Madueki skips clear of his man looks for an opening and it's deflected stroke shanked over the top of the crossbar in the end by Mihailo Ilic but Serbia's defence were opened up there and Ergolash just tried to grab hold of Madueki because there was no way that he was going to stop him in any other manner England have it back, here's Hayden Hackney, and now Madueki once more, seeing so much of the ball in the opening 20 minutes, lovely little touch! And very nearly a fine finish into the bottom corner. And you can just see the frustration, Madueki does everything right, starts by Hackney's brilliant interception, then the interplay with him, he drives forward with the ball, feeds the winger wide, just keeps himself on side, lovely little interplay here, and then the drop of the shoulder is fantastic, just miskicks it, miskicks the strike after what was another superb England move. Vazic, could be a chance, it's a goal, brilliant goal, Vladimir Lucic for Serbia. Well, that was unexpected, it was fabulous play from Serbia, the first time they've combined higher up the field, and as this ball comes back, this is a difficult execution from Lucic, and he side foots it into the top corner, giving Trafford absolutely no chance. You can see the euphoria amongst the Serbian squad. They can't quite believe it. England have dominated this opening half an hour, but find themselves behind. Francis goalkeeper safely is given away by Illich. Now here's Jake Filigine with a chance. 1 1. Big mistake by the goalkeeper, the first he's made tonight. And Jaden Philogene on his under-21 debut rifles it home. England won, Serbia won. Well, it is the first mistake that he's made. Ilic cannot quite believe it. It really is a poor pass. But Philogene still had a lot to do. He showed poise, he showed real composure, and then a superb strike at the end of it. Exactly what England deserved in this after this first half performance. Poor clearance picked up now with a defender in front of him takes the opportunity quite brilliantly. Lovely, easy, measured control there from Noni Madueki. Into Lewis. Sheer weight of numbers, Serbia's defence got the ball away. Lovely little quick-footed pass from Rico Lewis, Noni Madueki. Into Cole Palmer, good save by Illich. Here's Philogene once more. It's 2-1 England, and this time Liam Delap finds the back of the net. Well, wonderful perseverance for England, some quality play, a brilliant Madueki back heel, which gave Carl Palmer the first opportunity. His side foot was tamed, the goalkeeper parried it, England kept it alive. Philogene does really well to turn it back into the six-yard box for Delap to smash it home. He wasn't going to pass up this opportunity, and Illich now conceded two, could have been far more and a breathtaking first half from England under-21s. Thoroughly deserved the lead. Harvey Elliott finds De Lapp. Elliott on the follow-up, picks up the loose pieces, he's still going here, Harvey Elliott! Oh, what a way to finish the first half in style! 3-1 England! Well, I'm going to give the referee fabulous credit there for allowing a couple of challenges to go unpunished. Advantage given, and in the end, England, with that advantage, take a 3-1 lead. Nothing more than they deserve after an absolutely sensational first-half performance. And Harvey Eller, he's had a couple of attempts. This time he gets it absolutely right. Here comes Noni Madueki, looks for an opening, still looks and still, and here we are, it's 4-1. He was patient, and it was worth the wait. He looked and looked, and finally he noticed that the back door had been left ajar, and he saw the space, and he found it, and the ball is nestling in the back 
of Serbia's net. It is England who lead by four goals to one. Well, he's had a couple of chances earlier in this game, but as the ball's fed wide from Lewis into Muduecki, comes inside, drops his shoulder once, twice, and then this time with the shooting opportunity, drills it hard and low into the bottom corner. Little flick into Maduweke, 5 1. Wow, what a goal that was. Hackney retrieves the ball. Rico Lewis with a magnificent little touch into the path of Muduweke. He assisted in Muduweke's first goal. He's assisted again, Rico Lewis, with a deft touch that's given him the opportunity to side for England's fifth. This is breathtaking, it really is. Well, we were talking just a couple of minutes ago about the lovely combination play between those two on the England right, and we saw it here once again. Serbia potentially with a chance to break away initially with Stankovic losing possession. England countering immediately. Lewis with the little flick, Madueki with the finish. Oh, it's beautiful. Hayden Hackney, who's been really good for England and that's an excellent pass and Liam Delaps away and Jaden Philogene is alongside him and Philogene for number six brilliant and who starts it once again Hackney Lewis he plays the ball into the run of Delap and then what I love about Delap is the awareness he's going one on one with the goalkeeper he knows Philogene is in support and again it's just sensational England football, it really is slick, it's incisive. I said it could be anything, Simon, this could go on this evening to be an emphatic England victory. And Harvey Elliott could have added to the one he's already got, and he might Elliot, well now. Yeah, Elliott still venturing forward here, plenty of support, here's Rowe with a little layoff by No Gittins, still finds it at his feet, and Serbia can't get the ball away! And it squirts over the line. It'll go down as an own goal. It's 7-1 to England's under-21s. Yeah, it's unfortunate for Serbia, and it's the left-back, Igalas, who it's eventually gone off. Maybe Subotic, there's a number of red shirts in front of the goalkeeper. They're dispirited. They really have had a torrid evening. But the pass is poor, for once his pass was poor, but England have it back once more. It's uh, laid off here to Elliot and headed in by Rowe. Well, that is brilliant work from Harvey Elliott. The run to go round the back of McAtee was quite superb, and then the delivery was there for Rowe. If you're a striker coming in to this game, you think you're going to get a chance. Rowe, the substitute, helps himself to an under-21 goal. Elliot's work was magnificent down that right-hand side. On his debut as well, Jonathan Rowe. He scored seven goals so far this season for Norwich City, six in 11 in the championship, but here he is in the white shirt of England. But watch the run of Elliot round the back of McAtee. Lovely delivery, easier to finishes for Rowe. I tell you what, if I was playing as well as Harvey Elliott, I wouldn't want to come off, and he's back on the pitch, and he's got the ball at his feet, and he's scored! Wow! Harvey Elliott! What a way to finish the match! It's 9-1! England's under-21s have never scored more than nine in a match, and Harvey Elliott, with the last kick of the first half, made it 3-1, and with not far off the last kick of the game in the second, makes it 9-1. Well, that might just have edged it for him, Simon. And again, he comes on from the top of your screen, pinches the ball, but then has the awareness to drive forward and with that right foot, thunders it past the goalkeeper, Illich. What a night for Harvey Elliott.